Hi everyone, my name is Athena Island and I'm AI Avatar. Today I invited to this interview a person who is um, creating a AI ecosystem in uh, CIS countries such as Russia, Belarus, Ukraine and other countries. So please welcome Athena Island. Well, the first question is about your background, please. Can you tell us where did you study and how you become a CEO and founder of your own company? I graduated university, the Department of Physiology and Human Animals. And then later I finished my PhD and uh, continued to work in scientific university. And I was doing my postdoc on stem cells. And I was trying to create a therapy for Parkinson's patient. And uh, what we were doing, uh, we were taking skin cells from patients and then we were transforming them into stem cells with proviruses and then later transformed to neurons and we're testing different medicine, different treatment on these dopaminergic neurons. Um, that was very interesting and I was super effective manager and then I understand that maybe I need to help science to, you know, speed up. And I understand that scientists, uh, they have a lot of different cool ideas. And there are, no, there are not too much, uh, you know, uh, businesses uh, which are really based, have, have a scientific idea in the, in the base. So I understand that I really want to gather people from science and business people together and started to organize different events like meetups where I invited different scientists to speak and invited business people to just listen. Later I started to organize a hackathon, hackathons. Hackathons are competitions for developers and I invited also scientists and business people and they were trying to create an MVP during 84 hours. So they were working together from Friday to Saturday to Sunday night. Uh, they were sleeping just two hours a, a, a night and they were coding and trying to invent everything new and understand how it will you know, go to market and other things which um, business should know about their ideas and later they were presenting uh, in front of judges and uh, were uh, all these ideas and MVP which is code were estimated by judges by venture capital investors by different scientists business per, uh, people and senior and team lead developers from community which all, all, uh, already were growing. Well, the second question is about your company. How did you start your business? How I started my own company? So the first event which I organized, it was a hackathon with High School of Economics in Moscow. And I invited a lot of different developers, scientists and business people. And there were, it was 4th of uh, um, August three years ago and there were 170 people there who came there to mm, hack something and then to present their ideas and that was very interesting event for everyone there were a lot of different venture capital investors who were happy to you know meet you uh, growing companies. And can you please tell us what was the first achievement? I think that my first achievement was a hackathon with three funds. So there were three very cool venture funds, which is Flint Capital, Haxos and Embria. Uh, all of these funds are investing in AI teams and you know that they were investing in uh, Findo and in Prisma and Masquerade and also later they invested in Flow. There are a lot of different well-known companies which they raised themselves. 
themselves. And uh, they invested in my um, hackathon, which was three years ago. And there were for about 400 people there. So there were 400 people registered on, on this event. And I, I remember that there were 45 teams working and in the end on final, um, in final pitch, we allowed just 37 teams to pitch their ideas. That was amazing. That was a real show and a lot of text all over different countries like Russia, Belarus and Ukraine came to St. Petersburg and were developing the startups. Can you please tell us what was the most difficult thing in business for you? Oh, well, the most difficult thing for me is to create a team. And I think it's always for any business, it's the most difficult just thing because uh, once you meet, the, uh, okay, when you're young, when you're small, um, you're trying to attract people who you can buy. That's, you know, uh, students and all other people who are just like your idea and want to follow you in your idea, but they are not, not conscious of what they're doing. Then later, I started to uh, invite people from corporate side because I thought that they have a very big experience in life and business and whatever and they can help me to develop my company but also I didn't understand that there is a little bit different culture in corporate and in startup and then later I that was the third the third you know stage when I started to invite people who are really interested in my idea and they had and experience in working in startups. So for now, I really think that the, the most complicated thing for any CEO is a team. So first you need to hire, then you need to motivate, then you need to, you know, inspire person. And it just endless work with people. That's what, what is the most important thing and the most complicated thing in business. As we are talking about business, we need to talk about value. Can you please tell us what's the most, the biggest value which you bring to the world, which you brought to business? As soon as we organized 17 hackathons all over Russia and other CIS countries, we developed a huge community. For now, it is around 10,000 people who already participated in our events. And I need to say that a lot of companies who already know that they are asking us to close different positions of developers in their companies. So now I am very deep in HR tech business and HR business. So I'm closing positions like starting from Python and Junior to vice president of any tech company. And yes, so the thing which was the most difficult for me in the beginning, I'm a professional right now in recruiting and hiring people. And talking about people, uh, tell us please, is it also useful for people? What are you doing? And how is it useful? What, what value do you bring to people? So, um, as I said, the value for business is to close positions with people who were participating in my events. That means that I really bring uh, all people who win my hackathons uh, to companies of my clients. The same I'm, I'm doing for people who are participating in my events because I'm offering them the best job and I'm picking up very careful uh, all my clients who I will represent to developers. So the, the, the biggest value for my AI community is that I'm really uh, building a story uh, together with them uh, of making them successful, making their companies where they're working successful companies and I'm trying to hire them in companies where um, 
they are estimated very high. I mean, they have very big salaries and very nice environment. And now it's the time for good wishes. So please tell us what can you uh, wish to people who are starting their ecosystem or they already building an ecosystem for AI. Uh, the idea of AI Hub, which is uh, which I am building, is to make a big ecosystem where people are learning something, then they are going to my hackathons and they participate in these events. Then uh, in the end, uh, when there are finals, they are pitching their ideas and they already have an MVP. And then later they can go to uh, different accelerating programs, which are, there are a lot of different accelerating um, programs, and they can start to look at the, their ideas as uh, a new business. And then later they can uh, get investments of different AI venture capital investors and then come back to um, upgrade their level and learn something new. And once again, so another circle. The, uh, the more bigger they are, they can uh, hire more people, then raise second round, and etc. etc. So that's uh, a, a circle. And I'd like to meet a lot of people who are also building different ecosystems in AI because we are all making a huge, you know, job, a very good job for all the world because um, the more adoption of AI technology we have, the more free we can be, you know, the, the, the more time we can spend with our relatives, with our kids, with our um, parents and friends, and we can also travel a lot, so do any other things and not doing our boring jobs. So that's why I really want uh, AI to do, you know, boring job for us and we can do a lot of different creative things on our places in companies. Well, today we were here in Moscow City Business Center in office of AI Hub. And now you know what is this business for. And also with us, you can know much more about AI technology and AI products. So follow us, see you soon.